Imagine holding a phone so powerful it could replace your laptop, crush console-level graphics, and still sip battery like a pro. But what makes it so fast? What's the real brain behind that smooth scrolling, lightning-fast app launches, and jaw-dropping camera AI? It's not the RAM, not the storage, it's the processor. And by the end of this video, you'll never look at a phone the same way again. Let's break it all down. A processor, also called an SOC or system on a chip, is basically the brain of your smartphone. But it's not just one chip doing one job. Inside a single processor, you'll find CPU, handles everyday tasks like launching apps, navigating the UI, GPU powers your games, video editing, and smooth animations, NPU, the AI engine responsible for facial recognition, camera AI, and more, ISP, image signal processor for stunning photography, modem for 4G, 5G connectivity, and more like DSPs, video encoders, memory controllers. It's an entire computer packed into a single piece of silicon. And how well all these parts work together defines your phone's speed, efficiency, and intelligence. When you talk about dominance in mobile chip design, there is one name that always commands the spotlight, Apple's Bionic series. But this is not just a chip, it is the brain of a perfectly synchronized machine custom crafted by Apple to extract every ounce of potential from iOS. From the A11 Bionic to the new A18 Pro, Apple has chased one goal with laser precision, complete control over both software and hardware, delivering an unmatched user experience. And that is exactly why even a two-year-old iPhone can embarrass a brand new Android flagship in real-world usage. Look at the iPhone 15 series with the A16 and A17 Pro, or the iPhone 16 lineup with the A17 Pro and A18 Pro. Fluid, snappy, and reliable. Now the newly released iPhone 17 with to continue Apple's iron grip on performance leadership. Speaking of performance, the Bionic chips are beasts. The A17 Pro and the anticipated A18 Pro top Geekbench charts effortlessly, often leading in single-core performance by over 30%. But numbers do not tell the whole story. It's about instant app launches, stutter-free multitasking, and console-grade gaming right from your pocket. This is not just speed, it's speed that lasts, crafted with elegance and restraint. When it comes to battery life, Apple plays a different game. Instead of stuffing huge cells, they engineer extreme efficiency. Thanks to their cutting edge 3 nanometer and 4 nanometer designs in the A17 Pro and A18 Pro, even smaller batteries deliver excellent longevity. The iPhone 17 Pro Max, a true all day warrior, easily stretching well into the next day. And with Apple's smart battery management, performance degradation over time is barely noticeable. Not a deal breaker, but definitely a flaw in an otherwise spotless record. Now, let us talk cameras. The Bionic chips are the unsung heroes behind Apple's legendary photo and video quality. From Smart HDR and Deep Fusion to Pro Raw and Cinematic Mode, it's the neural engine and ISP that power the iPhone's status as a creator's favorite. Whether it's YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, if content is your craft, this is your weapon. But here's the raw truth. Apple's Bionic is not for everyone. Yes, it's the king of synergy, but it's also a closed fortress. No customization, no overclocking, no breaking free from iOS. And while gaming performance is elite, Apple's GPU flexibility still lags behind Android's diverse options. Oh, and the price? Even used iPhones sell for more than some new Android flagships. If Apple is the emperor of control, then Snapdragon is the wild apex predator, unstoppable, untamed, and everywhere. Qualcomm's 8 series chips power the who's who of the Android world, from Samsung's premium flagships to OnePlus's speed demons and Xiaomi's imaging powerhouses. Right now, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is setting the pace. Phones like the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, OnePlus 13, Xiaomi 15 Ultra, Asus ROG Phone 9, and Red Magic 10 Pro do not just showcase what Snapdragon can do, they push its limits. In terms of raw performance, this chip is a savage. The 8 Gen 4 handles console-level gaming, aggressive multitasking, and real-time ray tracing like it is nothing. 
LPDDR5X RAM, UFS 4.0 storage, and elite AI capabilities combined to deliver one of the fastest, most responsive Android experiences ever created. But what is speed without stamina? That is where Snapdragon made a leap. The shift to TSMC's 4 nanometer node with the 8 Gen 3 and Gen 4 brought serious power efficiency gains. Phones like the Galaxy S25 Ultra are now endurance champions. And let us be real, 150 watt fast charging on some Snapdragon phones? That is borderline sorcery. As for thermals, Qualcomm learned from the past. The 888 and early Gen 1 chips were heat nightmares, but the 8 Gen 3 and Gen 4 are ice cold in comparison. Gaming phones like Red Magic barely break a sweat, while even mainstream devices stay cool longer. Only super thin designs still struggle with throttling under long loads. Camera-wise, the Snapdragon Spectra ISP and AI engine enabled jaw-dropping tech, 200 megapixel sensors, 8K video, ultra-low light wizardry, but here's the twist. Your results depend heavily on brand tuning. The chip can deliver greatness, but if the software team drops the ball, so does your photo quality. Still, Snapdragon has its challenges. Performance can vary wildly depending on how each brand implements it. Flagships get top-tier puning, but mid-range phones with the same chip might feel underwhelming. Plus, despite better thermals, extreme gaming still pushes limits in slim phones. And these chips are not cheap. Snapdragon drives up costs for manufacturers and for you. Once dismissed as the budget option, MediaTek has come roaring back with the Dimensity lineup. And it is no longer just competing, it is taking shots at the crown. The Dimensity 8300, 9300, and the bold new 9400 have reshaped MediaTek's identity from underdog to disruptor. Built on TSMC's 4 nanometer node, the Dimensity 9400 takes a radical approach. No efficiency cores, just pure performance firepower. That is right, it ditches the traditional CPU layout to go all in on muscle. Phones like the Vivo X200 Pro, IQU13 Pro, and the Redmi K80 Ultra show just how far MediaTek has come. In some benchmarks, the 9400 even edges out Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. App launches are instant, gaming is buttery smooth, and multitasking is relentless. It's a brute force strategy, and it works. But there is a cost. Without efficiency cores, battery life under pressure takes a hit. During heavy gaming or video work, you'll notice that battery bar drop quicker than expected. It's still fine for normal use, but don't expect marathon screen on time under load. And heat? Oh, it's there. The Dimensity 9400 runs hot. Not dangerous, but warm enough that phones need aggressive cooling to stay stable. Long gaming sessions lead to throttling unless the phone has serious thermal management. Cameras? Surprisingly strong. The Imagic ISP and MediaTek's AI tools deliver sharp HDR, fast autofocus, and impressive night shots, especially when paired with Sony sensors. But while the results can be great, MediaTek still trails Apple and Snapdragon in consistency in real-time image refinement. Bottom line, Dimensity is now a serious contender. It's cheaper, often faster, and ideal for users who crave performance at a lower price. But it's not perfect. Sustained gaming, heat, and global availability still hold it back. Exynos is Samsung's wildcard comeback. For years, Exynos chips were the punchline in the processor wars. Slower, hotter, less efficient than Snapdragon. But now, Samsung is rewriting that story. Enter the Exynos 2500, a chip built to compete, not just exist. Armed with AMD's RDNA GPU, an overhauled AI engine, and built on Samsung's 3 nanometer node, the Exynos 2500 is powering the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus in select markets. And guess what? It is good. Not quite Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 good, but close. Daily performance is smooth, multitasking is solid, and AI capabilities are finally catching up. It is not a gaming beast yet, but the gap is shrinking fast. Battery life? Respectable. The S25 with Exynos can make it through a full day, though heavy users will notice faster drain compared to Snapdragon models. Still, for the average user, it gets the job done. Thermals have improved dramatically. The days of the Exynos 2200 frying your hand are over. The 2500 handles heat much better, though it still can't quite match Snapdragon's consistency under stress. Long gaming sessions or 4K video work will push it, but it won't break. Now for the camera magic. 
Samsung builds both the Exynos chip and isocell camera sensors, meaning they work in perfect sync. That synergy delivers gorgeous portrait modes, vivid colors, and fantastic low-light performance. But like Snapdragon, the final output still depends on software tuning. Is Exynos ready to reclaim its throne? Not quite. GPU performance, battery endurance, and developer support still lag. And the regional split, Snapdragon in some countries, Exynos in others, makes user experience inconsistent worldwide. Google Tensor, the AI-fueled visionary. Google's Tensor chip does not play by the usual rules. It does not chase the highest benchmark score. It chases something deeper, intelligence. Built with Samsung, Tensor powers Pixel phones with a laser focus on machine learning, AI photography, and real-world smarts. From the Pixel 6 to the Pixel 9 Pro, Tensor has evolved steadily. The latest G4 is not a raw performance leader, but it makes Pixel phones feel different, smart, anticipatory, magical even. In daily use, Tensor chips feel responsive, AI features like voice typing, call screening, and now playing just work. They are not flashy, they are quietly brilliant. And for most users, that is more valuable than a few extra frames per second in a game. Battery life? Solid, but not spectacular. You will get a full day, maybe a bit more with smart management, but heavy gaming or media use will tax it. Google's adaptive battery tech helps, but efficiency is still an area for improvement. Heat, though, is Tensor's kryptonite. Even basic multitasking or camera use can make pixels warm. Prolonged gaming or 4K recording? Prepare for heat and potential throttling. It is a trade-off that limits the chip's full potential. But when it comes to photography, Tensor shines like no other. Night Sight, Magic Eraser, Best Take, these are not just features, they are superpowers. Even with average sensors, Tensor turns every pixel into a pocket photo studio. If you care about stunning, smart photos, this is your chip. But it's not for power users. Tensor is not built for gaming, lacks thermal control, and sits behind Snapdragon and Apple in raw power. But for the AI-first future Google is building, Tensor is the first step into something entirely new. Each chip has its crown and its trade-offs. If you want to stay ahead of every tech release, get the deepest insights, hit that subscribe button now and join the journey. Peace out.